when on my first position I'm making 160. Okay? Double your unreasonable number. That's why I was a bit perturbed because it was obvious, Dick, that you either didn't watch or didn't pay attention to what was on disc number five. And here's the underlying reason why I get upset is so often, ladies and gentlemen, we have limiting, limiting beliefs that are not founded in reality. Okay? There's no reason... There's no reason for us... I had to take a deep breath. <laughs> There's no reason for us to let anything get in our way. Okay? Throughout my short life, I have realized that, that the, the cliches that you hear really are true. Um, you know, and I call them cliches, but just because they're said so much and, and they don't mean much to, 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 um, uh, well, I'll just say this. They didn't mean much to me years ago. Uh, and, and I mean the cliches like, um, and of course now they're all escaping me. <laughs> well, the only, the only one that's coming to mind, I apologize, is, uh, you know, believe it and you can achieve it. But it really, it, it really is true. That if you believe that you can achieve something, you really can. And the reason why, it's not some metaphysical or mystical reason. It's simply that you're, you will continue to look for answers. But when you have a limiting belief, your brain stops looking for answers. Okay, now I just showed you in you know 20 seconds why Dick was way off base. And, and you know explained a little bit more why I was a bit perturbed. So let's let's look let's continue to look at the example here. Uh, okay, so now here's 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 where I believe that Dick went off track. Okay, because he's using these percentage numbers here, and he's saying you take profits in two stages: 80% at 23 pips, 20% left to run. Okay, then he then he says, my question: How far does the 20% have to run to equal? Uh, to equal total win of 75. Okay, your your mistake is in your percentages. Why are you using a percent here? There's no reason to use a percentage. Why do I say that? Okay, do we know um, do we know how many lots we're going to trade? Do we know how much we're going to win on those lots? The answer is yes. So if we know how many lots we're going to trade, and we know how much we are, are looking to win, why are you going to use a percentage here? It, it just it doesn't make any sense. Remember, math is, is, exists to answer very practical questions. Okay, so let's, look at, let's continue to look through Dick's equation. And if you've never had algebra, I'll explain this to you. Uh, if you have had algebra, um, just I'll get through it very quickly. So the question is, how far does... Uh, the 20% have to run to equal total win of 75. So what Dick is saying here is that 80% times 23 plus 20% times what equals 75. So the first stage is you uh, multiply 0 0.8 times 23 to get 18.4. Okay, and this right here is the root of Dick's error. Does 18.4 reflect an accurate number in relation to what we're looking for? Remember, we're looking for a practical number, aren't we? We're not looking for a percentage. We're looking for a literal number, $75. Well, I just showed you earlier how, it, no, Dick is not answering the question. <laughs> 